Saturday anime on the Sci-Fi Channel, next. <laughs> Next. Three, two, one, contact! It may look like a sailing ship, but the oceans it crosses are vast. This place, time ceases to exist. Space forms a loop without beginning or end. When the space station Starlight discovers the mystery of Odin... He was all powerful. Odin! For the first time in history, we could reach a new race of beings. Starlight belongs to mankind. We are simply its servants. Only the very young and the very brave survive. You pitiful, useless organisms are about to die. Die! Fasten seatbelts and fire! Odin. It is the 21st century. Man has reached planets far, far away. And a new era of long voyages to establish colonies across the oceans of space has begun. Explorers with the courage and vision of all explorers brave the unknown. Space ships are powered by laser, transmitted through their sails. Laser sailing ships. This laser power is produced by solar energy, and relay stations are built across the entire solar system. A network of space highways is thus established, carrying both cargo and passengers from planet to planet. A sophisticated laser network stretching to the very edge of the asteroid belt. Outer space has limitless potential. Like the seas of our Earth in times past, mysteries we cannot understand and dreams we cannot describe exist side by side with horrors we dare not face. New technology is developed, new ships are built. Ships that even defy the greatest mystery of all, the pull of gravity to confront the ultimate perils of space.
Hey, guys, what a ship. State of the art. She's beautiful. And someday I'm going to be sitting right here in the captain's chair. Hear this. Prepare to cast off. Attention. Keep stone and listen up. My name is Kuramoto. I'm the ship's bosun. I'm in charge of training you kids, which makes me just a bit more important to you than God. And so the Starlight is launched on her maiden voyage. Beautiful as a swan, she is the product of 20 years development by the United Nations Space Development Agency. Equipped with the latest in technology, including gravity control systems, the Starlight can sail a hundred times faster than any other ship in existence, and has a range never before approached by an interplanetary vessel. Her mission is scheduled to take her well beyond Jupiter, realizing a collective human dream that has existed for centuries. God protect you, Ishige. Thanks. Goodbye. If I hadn't hit my flight instructor, I'd have been on that flight today, too. He was just begging to get hit, but I shouldn't have done it, I suppose. Sail power complex is operational. Roger. Call laser base B-34 and confirm route. Hey, I'm talking to you. You mean you want me to be signals officer? I read your training report, and nobody's got better qualifications, Minami. Oh, well, if you think so. Aye, aye, sir. Starlight to laser station. Starlight to laser station. Come in, please. Come in, please. This is laser station B-34 on operational code NNC-802 receiving. Confirm your position. Roger. We're passing MCD-402 at this time on course for MCD-404. Request clearance for laser route EM6. Roger, opening route 250 gigawatt. for moon cruising speed switch to automatic pilot well done that all went extremely smoothly congratulations i am takeshi suzuka i command this ship and you call me sir captain or skipper i realize you are no ordinary recruits that all of you are extremely intelligent and highly qualified so i invite you to use your initiative i will always listen and welcome your opinions but in the last analysis, I run this ship, right? Captain! Captain! I'm getting an SOS. Put it on the monitor. Aye, aye, sir. Mayday! Mayday! This is Jupiter Transport Alpha. We're in a magnetic storm. All the computers are out. We're out of control. We're being dragged along by some tremendous force. <laughs> We need help. 120 passengers and a crew of 10. Mayday! Mayday! Jeez, we're gonna hit it! I never saw anything like that! Ah! There was something very, very odd about whatever it was they collided with, don't you Not think? Not an ordinary asteroid, that's for sure. Well, we're gonna have a chance to find out. We're duty-bound to answer that Mayday call. Captain, it seems to me that this is a perfect time for a trial of the ship's gravity control system. If it works as it's designed to, we can get there a lot faster than anybody else who's picked up the call. What do you say, sir? It's worth trying, Skipper. And we got nothing to lose. Countdown starting at 10. Accelerator activation point 448. Roger. Activated. Acceleration factor entered at 448. Sail power output program at 40. Neutron generator on standby. Activated. 
Ratio one five. Stand by. Switch on. Radar contact with Space Development Organization fighter. He's closing fast. What the hell is he doing? He sure can fly. That's the latest FDO fighter. He's a maniac. Disregarded. Steady as she goes. Pretty good, eh? Eat your hearts out, you guys. Opening a communication channel. Stand by. I'm the guy you left behind. I didn't want you missing me. Akira. Might have guessed. The idiot! You know him? He graduated with us. He wasn't selected for the Starlight mission and ended up being posted to the fighter corps. Memoru. Just quit bad-mouthing me and get him to put up magnetic markers on the flight pad. I'm coming in. No way, man. We're on finals for a gravity systems test, and we ain't putting that back. Come on, don't give me that crap. You only have time for one approach. No second chances. Don't worry. I'll only need one. He seems to have guts, if not much sense, Captain. Shall we clear him to land? Thanks, buddy. Get him in. Two minutes and counting. Open suction vent. Suction vent open. Activate electromagnetic sweeper. Sweeper activated. Full HBW gain. Yard on. Final angle adjustment. Aye, aye. Foremast, OK. Main mast okay, mizzen mast okay. Pilot standing by. Test is go. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, contact. Status. GF, reduce to 0.5 and falling. G4, 3.5. Present acceleration, 3.7 Gs. 4 Gs. Hold on, Ryu. Captain, the crew, stand by. We're going to raise GF to 1, so hang on tight. Raising GF head to 1. Now! Oh. Someone look after Ryu. Accelerating to 5 Gs. Ship now traveling at 8% of light velocity. Fight, fight, oh, fight. Akira, I 
thought maybe you'd like a pair of extra hands to help out. That's Ryu's job. Not right now, it isn't. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Keep her on course. Nakoda, push up to 0.1 light velocity. Activate GF generator. Hey, wake up there, Spencer. Right. Open channels 5 and 8 to generator. Roger. Power channels 5 and 8 open. Right. Open ventral sail halfway. Okay, now. Raise gravity wave to 3 h frequency. Typhoon. Take her up to seven G's, but gently, Nakoda. Roger. She's gonna break up. You're taking her beyond her limits. She ain't got no limits. The kid's real bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ain't he, Captain? That's always been what explorers had to be to make any worthwhile discovery. Nakoda, stand by. We'll take her to point eight, but nice and smoothly. kitchen can be as fresh as a country garden. Your bathroom is fresh as a tropical rainforest. And your living room is fresh as a natural spring. Introducing Glade Plugins Extra Outlet Air Freshener with the extra outlet built right in. Plug into freshness without blocking your outlet. New Plugins Extra Outlet, fresh from Glade, Essie Johnson West. Plug it in, plug it in. Hey, help me figure this out. Usually, the more gizmos you want, the more money you gotta spend. Then, there's the Chevrolet Cavalier. It gives you a lot of the same gizmos that make expensive cars easy to live with, for about half the price. If you forget to lock your doors, the Cavalier is still protected by a gizmo called a theft deterrent system. If you leave your dome light on, it turns it off. My house doesn't even do that. Get the car that's easy to own, a Cavalier. Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. To most people, this is just a uniform, but to me, it's something more. Every time I put it on, it makes me feel better and stronger than I was yesterday. When I'm in this uniform, I know no limits. You gotta see the pride in my mom's eyes, or the way my friends look up to me. But none of that matches the satisfaction I feel inside. That's the pride of being a soldier in the U.S. Army. Interested in wearing this uniform? Then now is the best time to call this toll-free number. Because we've got new incentives that make joining more rewarding than ever. Now you can earn up to $40,000 for college. Or if you have college loans, we'll help you pay back up to $65,000. Or you may qualify for an enlistment bonus of up to $12,000. Ready to wear this uniform? Call now for more information. There's no obligation. Call today. Find out how the Army can bring out the, the best. best. The best of what's inside you. you. Be all you can be. All new adventures and all new wonders enthrall you in the best-selling Star Wars novels. Follow all the characters you love as the adventures continue. Read a Star Wars novel today and the Force will be with you. Don't miss the new Star Wars novel, The Paradise Snare. Available in paperback wherever books are sold. Taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea in the history of bad ideas. And action! That is very cool. Roll camera! Don't move! 
Hi, I'm Jeff Goldblum. Hey, join me for a return trip to the island where dinosaurs live and chaos is no longer a theory. The making of the Lost World Jurassic Park on the Sci-Fi Channel. Today at noon Eastern, Sci-Fi Saturday. When Steven Spielberg needs a dinosaur, he goes right to the source. Stan Winston, character creator on Masters of Fantasy. Today at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And in other news, police continue to search for kidnapped computer expert Clayton Rifkin. Mr. Rifkin is the best-selling author of How to Get Ahead in Business with Computers. Stay tuned for a detailed report after these messages. Looking for a powerful business PC for just $23.99? Call now to own this Dell Dimension XPS, powered by a 200 megahertz Intel Pentium processor with MMX technology. It comes with 32 megs of SD RAM, a 512K cache, and this Trinitron monitor. A 4.3 gig hard drive, Microsoft Office, a 12X CD-ROM, and a 4 meg Matrox Millennium video card. According to the top five PC publications, Dell Dimension is the most awarded PC line of 1996. No wonder 80% of the Fortune 500 are Dell customers. Call to order your Dell Dimension XPS, powered by a 200 megahertz Intel Pentium processor with MMX. For just $23.99. Thank you for calling Dell. You did well, gentlemen. Thanks to your skill, our gravity control system has been proved wholly successful and may now be considered operational. Our uninvited guest has to be mentioned for his outstanding contribution. He's an exceptional pilot. Yeah. 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 However, he remains no more than an uninvited guest. <laughs> <laughs> the members of the ship's crew must decide whether he's to be kept aboard or sent back. They got a pilot already. They don't need me. Akira. The Starlight needs you. We want you to stay on board as chief pilot. I'll be happy to be your co-pilot. The skipper's having it cleared with Defense Command on Earth. Mamoru. Hey. Ishiga here. Hi, Grandma. We're now six Earth days into our voyage. We've made phenomenal progress and are approaching Jupiter at great speed. Hold on! Looks like debris from the Alfred, Skipper. Alert the sick bay. Rescue team, stand by. No sign of survivors. Pick up the life pods. Hey! There's someone in this pod! Intercept it! It's a miracle she's still alive. You can help me keep her that way. Signs of a severe, unexplained magnetic storm dead ahead. I suspect Terminator probes. Action stations. Skipper, remember the Alfred's last Mayday message? It spoke of severe magnetic turbulence as well. Sir, we know it's a characteristic of Terminator activity that it creates magnetic storms. It's probably checking out our ship to establish if it's man-made. And it'll attack if it decides that we are. No doubt about that. Its sensors will be checking to see if there are energy waves coming from the starlight. There's only one thing we can do to escape them. We've got to make those sensors believe we're inanimate. Agreed. All power plants cease generating immediately.
I want you to take a couple of men and have a superficial look, but be careful. Aye, aye, sir. Starlight Command Center will move to the protection of the armored sub bridge. The skin is a form of zirconite and uh, aluminum ceramics. Pretty common substances, Captain. Same as ours, in fact. Maybe, but the technology is advanced, way beyond ours. We always thought the Terminator was a natural astral phenomenon, but it isn't. So it appears that we've made contact with some form of intelligent life. Alien beings, the first recorded encounter. This is an historic moment. <sighs> What's the matter? Help me! Ah, it's got me! It's sucking me inside! Ah, All systems off! Ah, it's the energy waves help. in your suit! Help me! Oh, God! Switch your radio off! Turn up all ancillary systems! Ah. Your eyes, right, Captain. Captain. Are you okay, Captain? Yeah, I'm fine. Check out the crew for casualties. Sir, I... What a mess. Jeez. Where's the girl got to? He was knocked out by debris. How did you... You're conscious again. This little fellow is tickling me, and that brought me back to consciousness. I found your friend and put him where you see him. Where am I? What happened to me? You mean you don't remember what happened to you or anything? Just my name, nothing more. What is it? Sarah Chan Baker. I suppose you've got names as well. Sure. What? Akira, Mamaru. Take us two to three weeks to make the necessary repairs. Repairs can be made, Kuramoto, but we've we've also lost seven men. Captain, I've checked our position again, and there's no mistake. We overshot Jupiter, and we're now entering orbit around Uranus. Mm. But you must have made a mistake. Did it mean that we traveled faster than light? Incredible. But what other explanation is there? His name is Oberon, one of the moons of Uranus. There's something buried in the ice there. Have you been there? How do you know? I feel its presence within my mind, as if it were somehow communicating. There it is. What do you make of it, Skipper? Looks like a flying saucer of a bygone age. Akira. Yes, Captain. Go in and check it out. Roger. Looks as though it crashed. Judging by the scale it's built to, the astronauts must have been about the same size as we are. The control room is just ahead, on your left. That may be correct. 
How do you know? Somehow I just know it's there. I know. She's right. I can see a light up ahead. The light glows from a green crystal on the ship's bridge. It's beautiful. It's a computer of some kind. I can't tell what type. Our computer doesn't respond to it. The molecular structure seems to be pentagonal, from what I can see of the crystal. I've done some work on the theory of pentadigitals, but it's very hard to make sense of. We may be able to read it if we run it through the convert compiler. Something's coming through. Our ship has foundered on the fourth moon of the eighth planet. Huh? You've got the power to read that? And without even a computer. We intend to attempt evacuation to the third planet. Listen, it sounds like a ship's log. To try to join the advance party that set out on the... Uh, 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 Sarah. Switch it off. Turn it off. No, Sarah, you must go on. Go on reading. Continued a third planet in orbit. We encountered life beings in basic form. Their world is extraordinary in its beauty, but they are quite systematically destroying it. They are primitive. <laughs> No more. It hurts too much. I can't go on with it. They're talking about planet Earth. Don't you understand? Go on. Sarah! She can't go on. Switch off. She has to go on. This is human contact with extraterrestrials. She must go on. Uh. Oh. Oh. video don't blink no! don't move who are you don't wait no! to own the newest x-files collection now on video don't miss it hola bonjour Rrr, girls. let me introduce myself i am a fruit twist from starburst come nibble on me and boogie with my fruit juiciness see my wiggle my twist my forbidden dance Oi, oi, ah, ooh, maybe they're not ready for my forbidden dance, hmm? Hey, I'm not my sister, for I am orange. We are strawberry, cherry, and lemon, too. Fruit twist from Starburst. Twist of the juice! Those big bulky pads, like I'd spend hours working out just to hide myself in big baggy sweats. Uh-uh, I've got always ultra. It's this thin, but it's better even on your heaviest day. Compared to leading thick maxis, Always Ultra locks away three times the normal amount of moisture. Ultra's super absorbent core traps moisture better to help give you better protection. Not just thin, workout thin, so I can wear whatever I dare. Always Ultra Thin with wings. Cleaner, drier, protects even better. I knew this would happen. There's only one package left. An innocent housewife trapped in her own home. She tried to keep the Pillsbury toaster strew with cream cheese and strawberry a secret. I know you had it, Jane. She failed. The warm, flaky crust, the real cream cheese, the do-it-yourself icing. I should have just given them Pop-Tarts. She underestimated the power cream cheese has over people. Get your own! They're in your grocer's freezer! Introducing fat-free Italian urban cheese. New from Hidden Valley. The new Firestone FT-70C was tested at 50 miles per hour against the Goodyear Aquatread 2. The difference in the Firestone tire is Unity technology. The Firestone FT-70C stopped an average of 12 feet shorter than Aquatread 2. Your results will vary, but that's a lot of feet. The difference is Unity technology in the new Firestone FT-70C.
Get a $25 certificate from the Sharper Image when you buy four Firestone FT-70C tires. You're watching Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. Warning, the following offer is for mature audiences only. Exciting, mysterious, intense, graphic, provocative, raw. This is no ordinary animation. This is the exotic, bizarre, and beautiful world of Japanese anime. And this is your invitation to enter with the modern classic, Akira. Critics say Akira makes Blade Runner look like Disney World. It's action-packed, the future of animation. Siskel and Ebert call it the video pick of the week. Akira is yours for only $4.95 with subscription when you order the best of Japanese animation collection series. With these state-of-the-art sci-fi classics, you will enter a world beyond imagination, a future out of control, and an experience you will never forget. Don't say we didn't warn you. Call 1-800-414-1136 now to order Akira for only $4.95 plus $3.59 shipping and handling with subscription. Future volumes are $19.95. All major credit cards accepted. Mature audiences only. I must admit I find it baffling. She seems to be a perfectly well young woman, and yet she suffers mental agony that implies extreme imbalance, but none of the outward characteristics of advanced organ depressed syndrome. Of course, she appears to be of Nordic stock, which would make her traditionally vulnerable to it. With Sarah's help, we've managed to interpret a certain amount of the information contained in the crystal. It's epic in its scope. A galactic map. Yes, sir, but a reverse image to that seen from Earth. This is the way it would appear to an observer, viewing it from the far end of the universe. From the other side, as it were. I'll overlay the two images. It's not a perfect match, because galaxies rotate. The right-hand one is a contemporary image, and by measuring the degree of mismatch, we can date the image found in the saucer's computer. 10,000 years. 15,000. That's it. Perfect. 19? No, 20,000 years ago. But we're no wiser about where it could have originated from. If you look at this diagram of ejectic, this is what we call normal space. And for many generations now, all serious scientists on Earth have accepted the theory of the converse, abnormal space. Somewhere the fabric of the two must meet. That must mean that wherever they come together, there'd be a kind of spatial fault with a corresponding gravitational fault, a cleft in space. Exactly. And if we can locate the position of this cleft and get to it, we can return virtually instantaneously to Earth or slip through it and travel to the farthest galaxies. That might even answer the boson's question. Where the saucer originated. Wow. Wait a minute. Is their star given a name by their computer? No, not a name, but it's likely to be in this constellation. The Argo constellation. We call it the Sail. And its sun, Canopus, ten times bigger and brighter than ours, became a supernova 20,000 years ago. Captain, there's a Nordic myth which is about some god named Odin. He was all-powerful. Odin? Odin? That was the name Sarah cried out. The myth was born in the mists of antiquity. <laughs> According to the legend, a world of great beauty was destroyed by an empire of fire. An eruption in the sky such as that which occurred on Canopus might give rise to such a story. We have proof that these astronauts made contact with the life form on planet Earth 20,000 years ago. And naturally, they would have told their story to the life form they found. Thus, the legend of Odin and the planet of Odin of the abandoned saucer could lie in the Canopus planetary system. Then the mythical Odin really existed. In fact, he was a real star. And we're not the only life in the universe. Hear that? I've been able to convert the power of the abandoned spacecraft into energy for our use. It triples our output. Good work. Hey, John. Morning, gentlemen. The repair work we had to do is complete and we are spaceworthy again. The test program of the gravity system 
has also been successfully completed in our efforts to answer the Alfred's SOS quickly. Therefore, my superiors at headquarters have ordered me to make sail for home. I know, of course, you'll be disappointed, but we have to obey. We must therefore prepare for immediate departure. The captain, why? Why, when we've almost found Odin? We must go on with the voyage. Yeah, Gentlemen, that's that's right. we've heard the captain's yeah, orders. Uh, right, chief, we have, but we don't understand them. Sir, for the first time in history, we could reach a new race of beings. The starlight belongs to mankind. We are simply its servants, and as such, have to obey, regardless of our personal feelings. Not when our superiors have taken leave of their senses. We must go on to Canopy. No, yeah, go on. Ignore their right. orders. We must go on. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. This is no. an opportunity we can't turn our backs on. Right. I'll break your neck. You don't question orders. You obey them. Gentlemen, no one's more disappointed than I am. You will no doubt decide among yourselves how to handle your frustration. I have every sympathy with what they were saying. We might as well have stayed at home if they're going to turn us back at the last moment. That's a chance to contact aliens for the first time in history. Yeah, but the trouble is the older generation doesn't make history. They're much too scared of breaking the rules. If we can't rely on them, it's up to us, the new generation. Hey, huh? wait a minute, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? We can't act without authority. Akira, the only thing what you say can mean is we mutiny against the captain and take over the ship. You're right, mutiny. Are you kidding? We can't do that. The captain wants to go on as badly as we do, but he's lost seven men, and now he feels he dare not endanger the rest of us. But we're capable of taking that responsibility away from him. You're right. If we take over, we'll be entirely responsible. All right. Let's go! Let's go! Come on, guys! Let's go for the ship! Come on! Sorry, Doc. We'll make you as comfortable as we can. No going back now. Okay, now take the ship! You idiot! Open the door! What do you think you're doing? We've done it! Stand by to set sail! All batteries in full power. Function, stand by. Contact. <laughs> Grand cinnamon rolls from Pillsbury. Get ready. The most enormous, ooey, gooey, luscious. Well, should we wake the others? Let them sleep. Grand cinnamon rolls. They're not just big, they're grand. Just one sniff, and I fell so hard, hard, hard in love with you. New Floral Fresh Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach. It's love at first sniff. Maxwell House Colombian Supreme. Old and unblended. It's the best of far away. Made our own. And it's always good to the last drop. Love the hat. 
Oh, I need it. My head's a disaster. Look at my dandruff. You just need the right shampoo. With regular shampoo, flakes can keep coming back, but Head & Shoulders helps stop flakes before they even start, so your hair looks great. Change dandruff problems into beautiful hair. On June 13th, Annie's back. Who's ready to party on the big boat? Everything's changed, but her luck... A position charges throughout the ship. ...hasn't. Yeah! Sandra Bullock, Jason Patrick, B2 Cruise Control, rated PG-13. Rush Hour hits the water June 13. I never thought it could be this simple. I can't even program a VCR, and I'm online. America Online is the easiest internet online service. You don't have to learn a lot of computer jargon. It's like actual plain English. America Online, simple to install, friendly menus, easy to use. And we've been working night and day to increase capacity 75%, adding 150,000 new modems. It's so easy my dad can use it. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Ten years ago, one school system chose a smarter way to lower costs, lower energy rates. If the child is cold, if they're not comfortable, then they may shut down. Every dollar we drive out of the cost of operations goes back into the classroom. With Enron, we have saved $3 million or more. For us, it is more than energy. It's a sense of well-being. In Columbus, lower energy rates are saving more than money. What can we help you save? Enron. Our race commemorates Sir Whitmore, ill fated expedition to the North Pole. He was told he would have better grip with wide snowshoes, but he insisted on thin. He learned a hard lesson. Wider is better. Presenting the new Wide Track Grand Prix Sports Sedan. Its wheels are set wide for better grip to make tracks in any weather. The spirit still calls. It's in the new Wide Track Grand Prix by Pontiac. Wider is better. You're watching Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. To most people, this is just a uniform. But to me, it's something more. Every time I put it on, it makes me feel better and stronger than I was yesterday. When I'm in this uniform, I know no limits. You gotta see the pride in my mom's eyes. Or the way my friends look up to me. But none of that matches the satisfaction I feel inside. That's the pride of being a soldier in the U.S. Army. Interested in wearing this uniform? Then now is the best time to call this toll-free number. Because we've got new incentives that make joining more rewarding than ever. Now you can earn up to $40,000 for college. Or if you have college loans, we'll help you pay back up to $65,000. Or you may qualify for an enlistment bonus of up to $12,000. Ready to wear this uniform? Call now for more information. There's no obligation. Call today. Find out how the Army can bring out the, the best. best. The best of what's inside you. you. Be all you can be. Escape, escape into a world of imagination. A world of never before seen science fiction and fantasy movies. The Sci Fi Channel original movie. I can do anything. Only the Sci Fi Channel presents a brand new original science fiction movie every month. The first to share the vision of the most creative filmmakers, writers, and special effects artists. Go beyond the screen and see the magic that unfolds behind the camera. Witness as imagination transforms into reality. A new science fiction movie every month. A one-of-a-kind experience. The Sci-Fi Channel original movie. Oh, oh. They 
We've lost control, the idiots. I can't hold her. Deploy ventral sail. Quick! Roger. Activate gravity generator. G room to bridge. Switching main gravity generator. Activate ventral sail. Captain, I hope you're okay. We can do without a mutineer's concern. Just tell us where the hell we are. Jeez, we went through a time warp of 30 light years from our own solar system, which brought us within striking range of Canopus. So the cleft theory worked. It does act like a highway junction. Look, a configuration of three planets in orbit. It's oh, incredible. Take a good look, guys. Wow. Has it occurred to you that Odin may no longer exist? I wonder where you learned such a lot about Odin. I can't answer that. It's a mystery. I just know it's as though it's calling me. In some ways, it feels as though it's a dream. When I was in the Alfred escape pod, a voice seemed to call. Odin awaits you. Odin. It wasn't a dream. I heard it so clearly. Someone called. Do you think? Maybe I'm not quite normal. I'm positive you are. I have someone. Someone very real I meet in my dreams as well. Who? My father. Your father? Where is he? Is he still alive? If you ever looked up towards the west on Earth, you might have seen that constellation. The one shaped like a boat. Can you make it out? Yes, I see it now. It's the Argo constellation. Sailors call it the sail and have adopted it as their own. It has a blue-white star in the middle. Uh. That's Canopus, our destination. Odin. When I was four or five, my father said that one day he'd take me there, which is why I'm now so determined we're going there this time. Father was the captain on a space probe from which no one came home. And we never found out what happened. Maybe he went to Canopus. Hmm. You know, I still feel he might be alive out there waiting for rescue. He did promise that he'd take me there, and he always kept his word. Up to. 
I've had an idea. If I put maximum laser power through the D channel, I might just be able to reach some sort of cannon up. Here goes. They're gonna ram us! Oh. What shot them down? Was it you, Akira? Sure was. I put together an improvised laser cannon. But there's too many of them, and I can't fire to the side. Use the gravity control. Okay. Bridge to engine room. Activate GCS. And quick. Roger. The accelerator's been damaged. Then fix it. Akira, the accelerator's down. Ryu, meet me on the flight deck. Let's teach those kids a lesson. Right. Isn't the accelerator fixed yet? We've got a fire on B-deck. Priority action. All fire auxiliaries down there fast. And get it under control. You fool! Captain! So you're big enough to seize the ship, but it seems you ain't big enough to run it safely. Most high-energy jets to get us away from it. Aye, aye, sir. Confirm all yard arm angles set. The electro rigging facility's hit. We've got no control without electro power. The hell you ain't. Get the man up there. We'll do it manually, like they did at sea. Hey, wake up and give us guys some cover. Okay, Bosun, we'll show up. That should put them in the line of fire of the electromagnetic scraper if we can bring it into play. We have the capacity, sir, if I reprogram. Do it. Aye, aye. Engine room to bridge. We daren't let the scraper exceed 80% capacity. Program completed, sir. Well done. Deploy scraper, and let's make it count. Roger. Skipper, you can leave the rest to me. Sick bay, quick! Ah! Main circuit's burned out. We can do a temporary repair if we short circuit M3, as long as it's remained isolated. Better stand back a bit. This Sci-Fi Channel program is brought to you by Burger King. 
where you can get your burger's worth. Lost World Jurassic Park Watch Collection. Four different watches, each just $1.99 when you buy any value meal at Burger King. Maybe you ought to get a watch. I never thought it could be this simple. I can't even program a VCR, and I'm online. America Online is the easiest internet online service. You don't have to learn a lot of computer jargon. It's like actual plain English. America Online. Simple to install, friendly menus, easy to use. And we've been working night and day to increase capacity 75% adding 150,000 new modems. It's so easy, my dad can use it. America Online, so easy to use. No wonder it's number one. Leatherman Tool Tail, number 12. Leatherman, one tool, a couple thousand uses. Ah. Now wipe out more than grease with new improved 409. Now 409 kills bacteria while it cleans. 409 spray cleaner, tough on grease. Now it's murder on bacteria. New on video. Take a deep breath and prepare your senses to experience again and again why the latest X-Files collection is the one you must own. Buy it now at a great price. Don't move! Hi, I'm Jeff Goldblum. Join me for the making of The Lost World, Jurassic Park on the Sci-Fi Channel. Today at noon Eastern, Sci-Fi Saturday. They're big and they're small. They sting. Tarantula and the Deadly Bees, a Sci-Fi Channel Sunday double feature on Pacific Sunday beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern. I can't believe it. She knew all about me, and all I told her was my name and my birth date. It was amazing. She saw me back in school, and I just sent for a training course. She told me that I had got a promotion on my job, and that's true. And the sample reading is free. One of the most incredible things that she asked me was if I had a fear of water, and it's true. It's like they've known you your whole life. I just planned a trip to Europe this summer. This is really true. She said I'd meet a tall Mediterranean man. I asked my psychic about children in my future, and she saw two, possibly twins. When I asked my psychic about the relationship I'm in now, she said not only will it last, but it's going to a higher level. Get your free 10 minutes now from Psychic Readers Network. Get the free time you need. Call now for 10 minutes free. PRN has the best psychics. You get a great reading, and it's free. Why do you think I let you call from my house? Get your 10 minutes free. <laughs> call now. Call 1-800-889-8564. Lost the chief. Captain, GCS operational again. Good. Check yard angles. Recall the Starlight's fighters immediately. Ten seconds to ignition. Standing by. Accelerator D1 to D3. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Contact!
Dakota, what does the computer have to say? Where are we? The computerized map we deciphered calls the place the Gap of Ginunga. I can't explain it so far. We entered a new dimension somehow. The cleft that we passed through is not on the map either. What's going on? The engine's working okay. We're just not moving. We can't move. Come here. Look at that. You know where we are, Minami. We're in a space loop. A what? Some old professor talked about it in training, but I never thought it was credible. A space loop, Mamoru? Yes. The theory supposes a place where time and space intersect. And in this place, time ceases to exist. And in its absence, space forms a loop without beginning or end. And forces are equal in all directions. A graveyard in space. Look out there. It really is a graveyard. And we've been swallowed up by two. How do you feel, Captain? Mm. Captain? I was responsible for the mutiny, and so it's my fault that we're in trouble. I will accept any punishment you think fit. Forget about the storm that's passed when you're fighting to keep the ship afloat in today's typhoon. Yes, sir. If you have to apologize, speak to the bosun, not me. And learn, you may dislike orders, but you have to obey them. I deserve it. Yeah, but if I hadn't made the skipper keep you on in the Starlight's crew, so I'm just as responsible as you are. If you want to try and make it up to the skipper and me, there's only one way. Get the Starlight safely home, but you can't make it alone. There are a lot of clever guys in that crew, so you listen to them. Got it? Got it. Boston. Ryu to Mamaru. We found a fighter intact. Now, let's see what this baby has to tell us. Huh? Jeez! Not getting anywhere. Shape and material are similar to those of the crystal found on the abandoned ship, but the language it uses is completely different. So we can't decipher it. Saramite. We'll show it to her. This is our second contact with the Odin civilization, but so far we know next to nothing about it. Both contacts clearly indicate intelligence, and yet neither indicates life. Is this intelligence robotic? You mean a civilized race of machines? Then have we gone through all the dangers we faced, the mutiny, the casualties, merely in order to find robots? A pretty depressing idea. Dinner rolls, hot and fresh in minutes. Then just toss them in a basket. 
If you're looking for a real challenge, this is it. If you're looking for a sure thing, take the high endurance challenge from Old Spice. This deodorant evaporates less quickly, it also lasts longer, protects better. So try high endurance. It's a sure thing. And now you got proof. I know I do. And marketing wants you guys to hold the kudos bars closer to the camera. Next, uh, the correct way to say kudos is dipped in chocolate is to say it's in robe. And could you start saying those oats and grains really pack a punch? And lastly... Allure magazine asked its readers, what's the best shampoo and what's the best conditioner? Two questions, one answer. Pantene Pro-V. Allure readers agree. For hair so healthy, it shines. They created electronic trading, and a global intranet became their trading floor. An intranet now able to handle a billion shares a day, with trades flashed to 300,000 monitors around the world in milliseconds. With reliability critical, with no room for error, who did NASDAQ turn to to build and manage the world's largest intranet? MCI. Imagine now what we can do for you. Look at us bargain bleaches. We snuck into the Clorox bleach factory. Who'd guess we're bargain bleaches? Because bleach is bleach, right? I, 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 I don't know. I just hope Clorox doesn't put us to the metal test. The metal test? No! Don't be fooled by bargain bleaches. Look at the difference when you pour Clorox bleach and the leading bargain bleach through a filter. They leave sediment, metals, and iron. I thought iron was good for you. Oh, shut up. Ow. There's only one Clorox bleach. I was born active. Motor's always running, if you know what I mean. So to stop smoking, the patch was not for me. Too passive, too rigid. With Nicorette gum, I get to do something. I participate in my own survival, fight my own cravings. Nicorette and I hit them before they hit me. I was busy smoking. Now I'm busy not smoking. Works out pretty good. Nicorette gum will help you quit smoking successfully by helping you control your cravings. You can do it. Nicorette can help. to Hazard County, home to the most genteel southern folks you'll ever meet, the Dukes of Hazard. Now capture the special moments with good old boys Bo and Luke Duke, that sweet little ray of sunshine Daisy Duke, friendly local businessman Boss Hogg, and the rest of the kindly cannon neighbors with the Dukes of Hazard Collector's Edition. Yes, you can bring the whole clan into your home with your introductory video, featuring two hilarious episodes, yours for $4.95 with subscription. Best of all, you'll ride again with the Dukes in their luxury automobile, the General Lee, as they take a leisurely spin through the countryside, entertain friends, even come to the aid of the local police. So give us a holler. We'll send you your first two episode video uncut and presented in collector's quality packaging for only $4.95, featuring exclusive liner notes and cast interviews. This collection's available nowhere else. To get your first video of the Dukes of Hazard, the collector's edition, for only $4.95 plus $3.59 shipping and handling, have your credit card ready and call 1 800 758 7979. That's 1 800 758 7979. Call now. Credit cards only, please. <laughs> Slightly. Amending by not 0.5 degrees. Adjust the horizontal. If we don't get this right, we could lose it all. Something's happened. Huh? Akira, there's something I must tell you. Okay, the horizontal's good at 0.3 degrees. I know for certain that Odin isn't a world composed of machines. A great job, buddy boy. What? It was just a theory that Minima put about. I don't believe that he's right, in fact. Well, he was wrong, Akira. Was he? Yes. How do you know? Because I remember hearing a voice in the Alphard when it first came under attack. It couldn't have been just a robot, I know that. But it said, return home to Odin. And if it said return, that means I've been there, and I'm not a robot. 
In fact, all my life I've thought of myself as being a perfectly normal human, but I'm not. It's all come back to me. Your memory has come back. Yes. Sarah. I remember things now that I have forgotten even before the attack on the Alfred. I am Sarah of Odin, and I must return there. ship. No, stay where you are. If it hits us, the ship's done for. At least in the life pod, some of us stand a chance. <laughs> Akira, he hit it. Thought it's time to see if our cascade cannon works. Energy levels rising. We sucked up vast quantities of e-power from those meteors. We can get out if we're quick. Phase in gravity isolation sequence. Full power and activate. at Y4. However she knew about it, she's right. Heart of port. Hold tight, folks. Here we go. Boy, that sure was some hell of a trip. Sure was. Akino, find our position. Quick as you can, please. We're 120 light years from our solar system, two thirds of the way to Canopus. So that only leaves a mere 60 more light years to go. One more try, and we're there. Large space fleet approaching. Look at them. Assumption has to be enemy. Nakoda, calculate the range. Roger. All crew to the sub bridge. The ship escaped from the Hinnom Reactor, obliterated before proceeding to planet Earth. Space Fleet is now 9,300 kilometers away. It's heading for the cleft. That could mean it's on course for the Earth. Our presence may have made them aware of its location. Geez, there's too many to count. Captain. Prepare to engage. Ben, we're back. Where did they say we have to go next? Sure. I want to go to London. I really want to go. Kudos sent me to London, actually. They sent me. I, well, because you're not the kudos pin-up girl. Like ah! I am. America's sweetheart. I thought it was the flu. 
It wasn't. It burned when I urinated. I thought it was a one-time thing. It wasn't. I had pain, a discharge, and a sore. I thought it was another yeast infection. It wasn't. These are symptoms of genital herpes, a condition that one out of every six Americans has. Call 1-800-459-2255 for information. While there's no cure, doctors have treatment options. Herpes thrives on ignorance. See your doctor. When you were a boy growing up, did you ever dream of becoming a man? What kind of man? Brave? Noble? Proud? Heroic? For over 100 years, BVD has made underwear fit for men, comfortable and durable. Remember when you dreamed of becoming a man? Well, how's it going? BVD, fit for men. The new Firestone FT-70C was tested at 50 miles per hour against the Goodyear Aquatread 2. The difference in the Firestone tire is Unity technology. The Firestone FT-70C stopped an average of 12 feet shorter than Aquatread 2. Your results will vary, but that's a lot of feet. The difference is Unity technology in the new Firestone FT-70C. Get a $25 certificate from the Sharper Image when you buy four Firestone FT-70C tires. Ah, these sport youths. They're a different breed for you, huh? Not for the timid, these things. No, sir. You got that whole other kind of suspension thing going on. Now, if you ask me, the whole thing's a little over-calibrated. I mean, of course, on a smooth road like this, you're not gonna notice. But you get your potholes, your various road anomalies. <laughs> Believe you me, you are gonna feel it. Feel what? You're in a bravada. With ride and handling, you wouldn't expect in an SUV. So the only thing you'll feel is really comfortable. Bravada. It knows the road. Did we just go over some train tracks? Coming right up. Acid indigestion. You need powerful relief. Rolaids can absorb 47% more acid than regular Tums. And it works fast. No matter how you slice it, Rolaids spells relief. You're watching Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. I can't believe it. She knew all about me. And all I told her was my name and my birth date. It was amazing. She saw me back in school, and I just sent for a training course. She told me that I had got a promotion on my job, and that's true. And the sample reading is free. One of the most incredible things that she asked me was if I had a fear of water, and it's true. It's like they've known you your whole life. I just planned a trip to Europe this summer. This is really true. She said I'd meet a tall Mediterranean man. I asked my psychic about children in my future, and she saw two, possibly twins. When I asked my psychic about the relationship I'm in now, she said not only will it last, but it's going to a higher level. Get your free 10 minutes now from Psychic Readers Network. Get the free time you need. Call now for 10 minutes free. PRN has the best psychics. You get a great reading, and it's free. Why do you think I let you call from my house? Get your 10 minutes free. Call now. Call 1-800-914-3891. That's it! Huh? Explode that asteroid with the electromagnetic scraper. It'll blow them out of the sky. There's only enough power to get out one shot. If we don't get it in one, we'll leave the starlight without energy to maneuver or to fight back. Still, I'm going to try. Akira. Nakoda, target that asteroid. Roger. Range 3,000 kilometers. Aspect 25, 4, 3, one, static. Come round 180. Fasten seatbelts. Full power. Declination zero. Now, and fire! Energy reserve down to five more seconds. We're dead. Now 
Here's your chance to get them. The debris out there will provide cover to hit the main fortress. Destroy it from inside. Right. an army of machines. Keep cool. Split into two groups. We'll catch them in crossfire. Move! Down! Watch out! creatures and not robots. How could we have known? We might have reasoned with them if we'd known. Uh, uh. And now I won't get home. Odin, allow me to see Odin one last time. Inserted in the G slot.
lovely world. Although I will not reach you again, I see you, my own Odin. Birds singing, clear skies, gentle wind across the land. My world. birth in a long ago time. I also remember two giants who sheltered and fed me as a girl. I remember the tree of space with its nine roots embedded in the soil of nine worlds. I remember it all. You're speaking of my planet with all the familiarity of knowledge. How is that possible? You may not know everything. An explosion of immense magnitude created the star Canopus 20,000 years ago. Odin became a fiery hell, and the beings that remained upon it must have perished. But there had been warning, and in the thousand years that preceded the formation of the nebula, we made our preparations to preserve the race our queen sent her genes to far off unknown worlds. You lived as an earthling, yet maybe your blood is hers. Who are you? What is your name? My name is Sarah, surnamed Chan Baker on Earth. Sarah. The queen of Odin was also named Sarah. Those of you who escaped, over the centuries you became cyborgs? Yes. Our plan was to establish a new colony far from the inferno of the Canopus Nebula. We had the skill to construct a great mechanized space station. We surrendered our bodies to the control of the computer we built so that we might survive the millennia till the nebula burned itself out and we could return to an Odin restored to its beauty. But then the great computer that we had built to serve us gradually came to dominate us. The machine developed its own will. It made us a part of its existence, its being. It evolved into a controlling power. It developed the capacity to move and it began to destroy all other life forms with which it came into contact. The computer had become our absolute master. With the passage of time, we lost our talent to feel and to think. And with it, we lost the will to go home. Odin faded from memory. Are you saying there's nobody there anymore? That it's become a dead planet no one wants? Were there no survivors at all? Some survive, not as cyborgs, but as themselves. I know it. And those few remaining wait for you to return to them, bearing the message that one day all the exiles will return and Odin will again be the paradise it was. Go quickly. Tell those you find that there is hope. Oh, Odin. Now we know. There are still beings on the planets. We owe it to those survivors to take you home. And we shall. That I swear. This is only a control outlet. The main center is elsewhere.
this futile nonsense. So you speak as well as destroy. My name is Belgal. I am everything you see around you. A space fortress made in the year of Odin, 48056. I am a comeback machine which devours energy from which I create warriors. All living beings are my foes, and my mission in the universe will end only when they have all been destroyed. With what aim? Why must you destroy life forms of all kinds when they've done you no harm? <laughs> because I am superior, that is sufficient reason. Living beings that can exist only for an instant in the freezing vacuum of deep space have no purpose to their existence other than to nourish me and provide me with the energy I need to reproduce myself for the rest of eternity. But surely you were built in the first place by living brain cells. For their own ends. Should I spare them for that? I use the people of Odin who hope to use me. I learned the mysteries of the universe and have now reached a level of evolution which neither they nor any other living organism could ever hope to attain. Without a soul, you have only reached a base level. <laughs> it is precisely because you value such illogical notions of soul and love that you must be and deserve to be eliminated. I am the pinnacle of evolution. You pitiful, useless organisms are about to die. Die! Sarah! Ha! I may die, but I shall not die in vain. This Sci-Fi Channel program is brought to you by Matchlight Charcoal. Incredibly, Matchlight, the dependable one-match charcoal from Kingsford, is ready to cook on in just 15 minutes. So, the sooner you get Matchlight, the sooner you eat. Actor Dinosaur, it's confirmed reports of some sort of enormous prehistoric creature. Just been told the National Guard has been called in to evacuate the area. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Sorry, we're late. The Lost World Jurassic Park Watch Collection. Four different watches, each just $1.99 when you buy any value meal at Burger King. Maybe you ought to get a watch. I do not drive to work. I do not drive to get from point A to point B. I do not drive to run away from the world. I just love to drive. The new 1997 Monte Carlo. Personal space. From genuine Chevrolet, the car is more Americans trust. Why do I always have pimples? Pimples. Pimples. Ugh. Why do I always have pimples? I tried stuff at night. I tried scrubbing. Forget it. I used that stingy liquid stuff. And that prescription product says it could take weeks to work. Don't get mad. Get Clearasil. Clearasil cream sucks up oil, then zaps pimples dry. The choice is clear. 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 The choice is clear. For clearer skin, the choice is Clearasil. I never thought it could be this simple. I can't even program a VCR, and I'm online. America Online is the easiest internet online service. You don't have to learn a lot of computer jargon. It's like actual plain English. America Online. Simple to install. Friendly menus. Easy to use. And we've been working night and day to increase capacity 75%, adding 150,000 new modems. It's so easy my dad can use it. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Love the hat. Oh, I need it. My head's a disaster. Look at my dandruff. You just need the right shampoo. With regular shampoo, flakes can keep coming back, but Head & Shoulders helps stop flakes before they even start, so your hair looks great. Change dandruff problems into beautiful hair. I am the Sci-Fi Channel. Saturday, I will project your cinematic dreams in the dimension of movie magic. At 7, 
technology runs amok. First engineered to protect, reprogrammed to kill. Paul Reiser must escape the tower. And at nine, prison is a collar. Ready to explode. Rutger Hauer stars in Wedlock. Sci-Fi Channel Weekends of Wonder. Tonight. Come with me. This is why Odin called me. Ah! Are you all right, Sarah? and all its mechanisms are self-revitalizing, so the robots repair themselves on the spot. Felgel controls every move that they make. We have to destroy him. How can we? The bazooka didn't even hurt him. If we can't destroy him, then we must find a way that'll make him self-destruct. Felgel was made by living beings, so we can find a way of unmaking him. It takes a brain to do that. Yours should be good enough for the job, Nakoda. Get in there and destroy him. Quickly! Hey, that's the control module. Nakoda, I found what seems to me to be the command center with its brain. I'll keep him occupied. Roger. You and Mamoru go in as soon as you get a chance. Okay, Akira. Circuits. Follow the current flow back to source. Here. Oh. Raise the furnace heat to 999 degrees. living organisms, I can raise the temperature to 6,000 degrees. In a little while, you and your craft will melt. In 30 minutes, nothing will remain of you but insignificant specks of ash. Hurry, Nakoda. It's getting hot. Come on. You can make it. I can't stand, Mamoru. Look. Oh. That's the brain, up there at the top. But how do we enter the self-destruct command? Here, with this. My own invention. What is it? Something I amused myself with when I was off watch. It's a pentadigital IC bomb. And each of the pins you see will explode inside him with a force that'll confuse him to the point of madness. You're a genius, Dakota. That's brilliant. It doesn't matter which part of the brain it hits. 
the explosive force will spread like a ripple, causing a mental black hole, which transmitted through the release of Belgil's latent energy will cause a physical black hole. Our suits are only resistant to 3,000 oh. degrees. We won't last more than 30 minutes at the very most. We've got to penetrate that shield. We can't fire the bomb through it. Look, there, Nakoda. The second beam from the left. What about it? In theory, that should control the entire protective network. If we can get past it and use the crystal to scramble the lock circuits, that should deactivate the shield completely. I hope. You could be right. Well, I'm going to try. When I give the word, or when you see the powers off, fire at him. Emergency takeoff. All systems stand by. Activate GCS. Yard arms, all angles for takeoff. Here we go. disappeared precisely the way Nakoda predicted. It's become a black hole.
Captain. Captain! Huh? He's collapsed. Somebody help me. No, huh? No. Oh, is he all right? No. Sir. Skipper. Captain. Uh. Captain. See, as were sailors before us. Human beings are explorers. Sailors have always searched in quest of knowledge. First on the seas of the earth, then sailing much further. On the seas of space, the final frontier. Out there lies an infinity of opportunity to be discovered. New life, new worlds. A new time is beginning now. You'll be the guides that mankind follows in exploiting what it brings. You've done well. You've become fully fledged officers. I'm proud to have served with you all. And I know your strength and courage make you fit to bear the flame that guides explorers. I have faith you will keep it lit. Ah. Captain! You were the best, sir. Starlight crew, stand and salute. Give me our current position, Nakoda. 6B into sector P4 approaching 7. Full power. Hello, Gran. Final lap. Not much further now till we reach Cannabis. It looks so big and beautiful. I wish you could be here with us. You'd be knocked out by it, too. Bye. I'm finally going home. Strange, a place I've never seen or known. Time's up.
two days in the valley. Yes, yes, you're right. On Odin or Earth, the soul unites us. And no matter how far the journey, our souls can travel to the ends of the universe. It was the ultimate futuristic high-rise, controlled by computer, engineered to protect. And something went wrong. Now, if you're human and you're inside, you're as good as dead. Paul Reiser must escape the tower. Just one of the astonishing tales you'll witness in the dimension of movie magic. Tonight, beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern. Now, stay tuned for the Anti-Gravity Room, Sci-Fi Channel, next. You're on the Sci-Fi Channel. Here's what's next.